Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, how long is it, though, if you have 120,000 years divided by 24 hours in that day? 5,000 years a day. <laughs> or an hour. Or an hour. <laughs> now, Moses is telling you, talking about a replenishing to the time he started writing back. <laughs> to this replenishing of the earth. Now, there's a debate over, again, certain things in the Bible. How long is a day to God? <laughs> is one of them. <laughs> now, if you listen to what Moses said in Psalms 90, <laughs> he talks about... The a thousand years being as a watch in the night, right? And, uh, uh, and again, right? He's basically saying a day, a day. <laughs> Peter says a day is as a thousand years, at least, and a thousand years is as a day. Mm -hmm. But John talks of ten days of tribulation. Right? That's at least ten thousand years, right? Well, that already does something to the time we're in. <laughs> so, if 10,000 years is as a, a day, <laughs> in which heaven is it as a day? Mm -hmm. Now, if there's a third heaven <laughs> from us, <laughs> there's also two heavens in between us and God himself, right? Now, if God created the terrestrial universe from scratch, right, at the Big Bang is what we call it, right? 15 billion years ago. It's the spirit of all matter and the spirit of all life forms, right? And the source of our life, right? From when? The beginning. In the beginning of it all, God created the heavens and the earth, right? Right? Plural with both, really. <laughs> and if you have to replenish the same planet, it's still one Earth. Because <laughs> we keep destroying it, right? <laughs> right? Or God has to send a meteorite to destroy the dinosaurs because, again, they're too teasy. <laughs> and once we start eating... <laughs> And devouring one another. <laughs> and this is both metaphor and literal. Mm. When you die, is Satan eating your flesh <laughs> and turning you back to dust, which God made you from? <laughs> but like Jesus was resurrected from the dead, and like Jesus, you can be resurrected by the God who raised Jesus from the dead, right? You can be resurrected from the dead like the boy and the girl outside of Jerusalem within less than a day, you know? Did your Bible too. <laughs> yeah. right. Now, the boy who died with Elijah and the widow was raised the same day. Right. But he too was outside of Jerusalem. Right. Now, Lazarus was outside of Jerusalem, but Jesus wasn't. So was Peter, but Peter might have resurrected three days too. Right. How do I know he was resurrected? Just try to turn to the journey. Jesus ain't Jesus, right? He was buried as Jesus was buried because Nicodemus and who buried him? Joseph of Arimathea. So they would bury him how? Mummy style. Mummy style, right? Uh huh. <laughs> read your Bible, read your Bible. Or you're misinterpreting your Bible. <laughs> you're teaching for doctrine the command of me. <laughs> And that's all our sin if we're not taking it all from the Bible. <laughs> now, they are telling us in part, not in full. Paul admits that. But you got to admit that too. Right. Or you're still lying and adding to the commandment. God, the commandment of men. No, no. It's like with the Mormons adding tea and coffee to your forbidden mm -hmm. objects. You can't do that. Right. <laughs> God never said nothing about tea or coffee being bad for you. <laughs> You mean they didn't exist, so you're going to vilify it, huh? 
You're going to make it something bad to do. <laughs> Same with cocaine. Same with heroin. Right? Same with any drug you're classifying right? as a certain type of drug. Even morphine, or right, <laughs> which are for pain levels, right, are classified as certain types of drugs since I'm taking that course, right? <laughs> now, I still got the stuff for the course, but again, I'm a man and not God. I still have pain right now in my lower back. <clears throat> now, I walked too far yet, so the ankle could be fine right now. But if I got a little bit of pain in my lower back, I've only been up since around 7 <laughs> or so. Mm -hmm. It's only 11. That ain't even four hours like I told you. Within a few hours, I could be hurting. And it starts either with the back or the ankle, <laughs> depending on if I'm walking a lot or not, <laughs> which I haven't walked far. <laughs> <sighs> right. <laughs> I ain't done much of nothing except go and eat breakfast, right? At the other house, right? Uh, oops. Mm -hmm. Now, if again there are three heavens above us, right? Right. Now, does that include the space of the universe itself? Or is that all included with God and then there's two realms above that or dimensions, right? Or realities, right? If so, what it is is this a compact universe, right? That was expanded outwards with the Big Bang, right? Now, like I said, but if there's, if something is expanding outwards, something is blowing up near the center, right? <laughs> There, you see the supernovas, right? <laughs> I don't know. Well, what do you think that would cause the universe to do if there's supernovas in the center of the universe? Go out, go out, and expand. I know that, right? Right. What do explosions do? <laughs> Make something explain. <laughs> expand. Go out, go out. <laughs> well, again, right? when the Big Bang happened, all the matter. <laughs> Popped out of nowhere at the pinpoint precision of God. Of God. <laughs> and something is controlling it, right? It's not just an explosion here and an explosion there, is it? No, actually it is. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> okay. And there's a reason for it. We don't know yet. We don't understand yet because we're the ant in the ant farm. We didn't put ourselves in the ant farm. The person who made the ant farm put us in the ant farm, silly. You know? So we're on the ant farm. We're on the planet Earth right now. <laughs> All right. We got to deal with our problems here first. Though. Among them is feeding the population, clothing, sheltering, right? all we need right? throughout winter, spring, summer, and fall. <laughs> Like he says, like one of the gyms says, winter, spring, summer, fall, all you got to do is call. That's the point. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I only sing love songs to you, Sheena, after I made love with you, <laughs> even if you thought it was on the oral. <laughs> See, that's the... Get you to understand that I thought we were in agreement to make love. <laughs> so you were trying to make love to me to help me get over what my dad did to me. Right. <laughs> not fuck me and leave me, not fuck you and leave you either. Either <laughs> I knew that wasn't your fault. <laughs> and I thought you could handle the sex too. I, if you know your dad can molest you, you also know a boyfriend can make love to you versus molesting you. <laughs> You were trying to make me love to me, not molest me either, right? <laughs> <laughs> but there again, you were acting badly. I don't know if it was the shipmates. I don't know if it was me. I don't know if it was your own religious differences between your church and my church. But whatever the reason was, we over you overreacted first. <laughs> but see. If you don't listen to your prophets 
you're doomed to make mistakes like the prodigal son as well as the prodigal daughter. <laughs> you think neither is the son without the daughter or the daughter without the son in the Lord, in the Lord. The word used there is man, woman. But the man and woman create a son and a daughter. <laughs> we're not one only, we're two from one. <laughs> And all three are one in Christ Jesus, all three. <laughs> That's what we're being confused about by Emperor Constantine 325 years after Christ, Catholics in Rome, <laughs> who call yourself Catholics but aren't Catholic, are you? <laughs> Catholic means universal. <laughs> are you being universal? <laughs> You're being what? <laughs> wrong, wrong. <laughs> But like I said, a good prophet knows we're all wrong. We're all human. We all fall short of the glory of God. Even Jesus knew that. Right. <laughs> now, if a 24-hour period, though, is how we tell time, God don't know that either. And you still think the earth is 4 billion years old, right? But we're seeing it through a shroud of carbon-14 versus carbon-12. Do you create life first and then death? <laughs> or from something pure comes something pure? From something unpure comes something unpure, but it's a deception. You understand? <laughs> the death of Satan is the lie of Satan, too. He's not really dead. <laughs> But he's not really in the form he was in in Eden either, either anymore. He went down to the deep and drowned himself in the deep. That's what that means. That's what that means. But he withheld the floods until the flood. <laughs> but the earth was being replenished when God remade it again. Could that be from the dinosaurs to man? Right. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> We don't know the day or the hour of the Lord's return. We don't know the day or the hour. We've even in that way. Right? Because we're calculating it from inside the dome, right? Inside the planet, right? Backwards, backwards. <laughs> to that which created us from the beginning. <laughs> so, of course, you're going to come up with a longer time. <laughs> but life is greater than death. You must create and then something must destroy. <laughs> first, first. And from something, nothing came something that was not corrupted yet. <laughs> but when Satan fell, he corrupted it all. <laughs> and your view is now askew. <laughs> so that's the problem, right? Yes, yes. <sighs> Sky rockets in flight, boom, boom. Afternoon delights. Afternoon delights. But see, you think everybody think, well, maybe they are, maybe they're not. <laughs> you can't tell when someone's really seeing or when they're really using auto tune. I usually can. <laughs> I can even hear when they're thinking on top of themselves and using auto tune. <laughs> Even with the same voice they're trying to produce, right? I'll still hear Ed Sheeran in his autotune voice underneath it with his new song, right? But I hear both. I don't know. Can you? <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> That's the first step to faith. Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. But are you a forgetful hearer? <laughs> Of the word, or do you do the word? <laughs> do you listen to it? Then, uh, because you can hear it and it go in one ear and out the other. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I <didn't> know that. <laughs> but are you listening? <laughs> are you trying to make me like you, or are you like me? <laughs> <laughs> and who are we supposed to be like? Jesus, not Satan. There's only two <laughs> from the beginning who are involved with Adam and Eve from the beginning. Though there's at least 342,000 other angels. 
right? Which is what? The 144,000, right? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> You gotta multiply it by what? Three, three. A third fifth. So that's 432,000 now. All right. Now you either include Satan and Jesus, right? With that number. The problem ain't nudity or being clothed, right? The problem is how do you see someone, whether they're clothed or not, right? <clears throat> now, if you're a male looking for a wife, is it wrong to find a woman attractive? No, no. What does Jesus mean, though, if you lust after her and judge an adulterer as an adulterer? <laughs> you've already committed adultery with her in your heart, right? That's the condemnation. But if you find her attractive, like a normal male thinking a normal female... <laughs> And you look at her as something attractive, right? That's not a sin. That's not a sin. <laughs> you're seeking out your mate. <laughs> now, if you're like me, you find like the angels in Genesis 6. All the women are pretty. <laughs> right? Right. But you know, if you're a Christian, the Lord brings you your wife. <laughs> or your wives. <laughs> If you're with more than one like me, or Solomon, or David, or <laughs> Abraham, and Jacob. Right? These are men who have been with more than one woman. <laughs> in your Bible, in your Bible. And Samson, and Samson. Like I said, I just look, and unless the woman lets me know she wants me to touch her, I don't touch her. <laughs> She is the Lord's daughter <laughs> and someone's future wife. <laughs> Whether it's mine or another man's, I try to respect that boundary. But if you don't, I can't make you either. <sighs> but if you tell me you're having sex with Allery, man, I'm going to believe you. I don't have to see it. If you and Allery are going out together, I believe you, man. But I don't think you're trying to have sex with me either because I don't remember that at all. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Just like I'm trying to get with Lisa. <laughs> but I don't recall sex with Lisa. But again, her dad might be stalking her. And I don't know <laughs> if I did or not. I do know we were on the front porch swinging. <laughs> swinging. <laughs> on the swing in the front yard. But see, I'm the one on top of Lisa when I'm making out with her and she starts bleeding with my fingers inside of her. Right? So that's one of two things. Right? Either I'm popping her cherry or she's having a period. Right. 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 Either way, if she had sex with someone before me, she didn't get prayed about. <laughs> right. <laughs> But like I said, stalkers try to murder. Christians try to marry. <laughs> and find technically one woman. So like Solomon or David, who knows what you really get if you can be forgiven up to 490 times. That's at least half the number Solomon was with. Mother, mother. Though if he had a thousand... <laughs> In the old. And Jesus said, if your brother turn and repent 490 times, is that 490 times a thousand? <laughs> Which would be what? Half a million? Half a million. Right. <laughs> 490,000, right? Now you multiply that times seven, <laughs> that's three and a half million <laughs> times three, <laughs> like Peter said, 
Or, mm-hmm. That's 10 million. <laughs> 290 or 10 and a third, 10 and a million and a third. <laughs> and again, <laughs> am I trying to sleep with 10 million women? No, no, <laughs> right. <laughs> but this is hypothetical, right? But if you're looking for a wife, right, <laughs> it's the choice of the woman. Now, the difference with the angels in Eden and in this is six, right? Is one was Satan, and the rest were the other third that fell with him. And the 12,000 is from what? A thousand, right? Times 12. Times 12. So you see what I'm doing, right? No one mentioned uh, the 144,000 until John in the Bible at all, right? Yes, yes. But John's also the only one to witness to it. So what does he say in the 12,000 represent? The fallen angels? Who sin was Satan? Right. And what is the purpose of it? To restore that which Satan deceived and brought out of heaven with him. Right. Exactly. So 144,000 is times what? Three times what? <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Which is four hundred thirty-two thousand, and that's how you get the number when God again in Genesis, the angels again sin in Genesis six. So one hundred and forty-four thousand of the angels came to the earth in the days of Noah, right before the flood, <laughs> and reproduced with the daughters of men. <laughs> that's why the deeds of the people, <laughs> even if one of Noah's daughters-in-laws had the gene. Right? That's all it would take. And see, she could be X, XY even and be a little burlyish or manish, right? And still pass on the gene. Or she could be XXX right? and be more girly girly <laughs> and pass on the gene. And, pass on the gene right? and there's three of them. There's three of them. <laughs> Plus Noah and his wife, who produced Shem, Ham, and Jephthah. Right? Though Jephthah is the older, Shem is the middle, and Ham is the youngest. Right? And it's Canaan rednecks, <laughs> not Ham who sinned. Right? Canaan was cursed to be the servant, a servant, so that's over in Israel, <laughs> not in America, and not about black people either. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Undo that myth you tell each other in the KKK. Because <laughs> I heard it too, being that I'm from Georgia. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> and that's a lie too. Mm-hmm. All men. <laughs> Even if your ancestors came from Africa, they would be dark like the Africans. If your ancestors come from Europe or Gog and Magog, they would look how the Chinese and Russians look. Right. But if the Russians look like Europeans, I don't know. All throughout Russia. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. And you got the Chinese too. And then you got the Asians further down too. Who went that way. Then you got the Aborigines in Australia. Which is also similar to Africa. And they're dark skinned. And you got two continents where there's dark skinned people. That is adaptation. Your skin color ain't the problem with God. It is with men, though, who look on the outward side, which is from Satan, not God, right? God looks on the heart. And we're all male and female to the Lord inside. Externally, you're male or female or hermaphrodite to Satan, right? To Jesus, he's all three. He's the firstborn of every creature, not you. But that means if two of you shall agree in such an anything, it shall be. Even if you want to change gender, though, only by faith in God can you do so to become from a male to a female. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) I'm not God. I'm a man. I'm just as much of a fallen creature as you are. But I am telling you, you must do it by faith in the word of God that Jesus is all three for. And draw it this first, then male, then female. (laughs) The two appeared with him 
in front of Peter, James, and John. The three appeared to Abraham and Sarah too. And what does Isaiah talk of? Gabor, Ish, and Yoda. And one of the prophets would mention that Moses, Aaron, and Miriam were sent to you. Mm -hmm. Who was the youngest? Miriam. Before Moses. Who's the middle child? Miriam. Miriam. A female. A female. Aaron is the oldest. Right? Miriam, then Moses. Right? Yet, the prophet put Mir Moses first, then Aaron, then Miriam. Right? Because he's the form of the angels and dragons. Right? That's why Pharaoh couldn't kill him because he was male enough but daughter enough that he broke the law of Pharaoh. And he couldn't kill him because of that. He had a dilemma. This is both. This child is both too, right? Exactly, right? So do I kill him or save him, right? With his daughter's help, he saved him. He saved him. <laughs> Though he did grow up to be the leader of the Israeli revolt from Egypt. Though God, or nature, through God, I know, and the destruction of the volcano called Santorini right, at that time, is how God freed them from Pharaoh. Right? Now, once you set something in motion, it's in motion too, right? From the beginning to the fall, though, can be longer than we thought it was, too, right? If we're discovering time to the Lord is different to man, right? 24 hour, 365 days, or 64 and a quarter, according to our reckoning of time, right? Though it Takes the sun 30 days for its day to complete. Different planets rotate at different speeds for their day. And each day is for that planet's day. Right. You understand that too, right? <laughs> so if Mars and Earth have a similar time period right, to revolve around its axis, right? Their days are closer. If it takes Jupiter or Saturn or Uranus or Neptune or the dwarf planet Pluto now, <laughs> near all the asteroids we didn't know were on the outer belt, <laughs> we have two belts, an inner belt and an outer belt now. We didn't know that, right? When I was growing up, right? But now we do. <laughs> and if you learn something new, it's harder to change your belief in it. <laughs> Even with Pluto formerly being a planet, you still don't want to see it as what it really is, part of the asteroid belt, right? That we didn't know existed until now. Right? And there are many planets they're finding out. Really, there's two asteroid belts, right? One on the inner, one in the outer, right? Now, another thing you got to be warned of is both asteroid belts, <laughs> if something strikes one of the meteors, right? or they collide in their orbit, right? can send a meteor to the Earth, not one. <laughs> we used to only worry about the one we know about. <laughs> now we got two to worry about, not one. <laughs> so don't take it for granted, that's what I'm saying. There are two. Because you can, right? <laughs> But if you know martial arts and God, then <laughs> you Right. Mm -hmm. But all it is is pictures of pretty women. It's not a crime to look at a pretty woman. <laughs> or you're taking your religion too far. And someone's brainwashing you in that being gay towards women. <laughs> and you don't even know it. <laughs> Because they don't know how to handle adultery versus fornication and what Jesus said about looking upon a woman to lust after her. You done committed adultery in your heart. 
But now, are you a single man, and do you know the woman is married or not? Not necessarily, but look at that. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> How can you know? <laughs> you ask her. You tell her how many people you've been with before her, right? Things like that. You try to communicate in both ways. Both ways. <laughs> and then whatever happened when I told you I was one of the two witnesses, that's when you freaked out and started judging me, right? Gina. It's, it's, 